Okay, so let's look at using Kami today um, to mark up a text, to annotate, anything that's in PDF format. So I grabbed just a PDF here that has a bunch of different text on it, it has questions you can respond to, so we can see how all these tools work in Kami. And again, this is great if you're a teacher, you might use this live in a class to teach annotating the text, um, or to work with a digital text in the class, to mark it up your own copy, to post after class for students to use for homework assignment to show students what you want them to do on their own document. Um, maybe you're going to make several copies of this for groups. So it's great if you're a teacher. It's also great um, to pre-annotate if you want to distribute something that has your annotations on it to your students. Or students, you might use this um, to mark up a text for a teacher to answer questions digitally so you don't have to print, write, scan, do all those different things. And it has quite a few features here. So let's take a look at the features. I'm going to start at the top. Um, and again, this is just with any PDF you can load in here, and we're going to work our way down the tools. So here we go. Select, of course, is just your regular mouse. The hand tool just lets you grab the page and scroll through pages, move them around a little bit differently. And select annotations. I like this tool because it lets you change several things at the same time. So here's a bunch of different annotations I have done on this document already. But let's say right here I said, oh, all of these dots right here, I actually want to change the colors of those to red. So I can select all of them at the same time. And I can just go, yep, I want all these annotations to be green. And actually, I want them to be much larger and darker and I want them to be a little more transparent, okay? Oh, maybe you decided you wanna copy these three right here, and I wanna copy those, and I wanna paste those three, because, oh, this three right here, I want those to look the same. Or you can go, oh, I don't like any of this part right here, it's too messy, I'm going to select and delete. So it helps you with large quantity annotations. The dictionary then, of course, tells students um, and teachers, of course, anyone the, read the meaning of your words here. So if a student wanted to look up the word square, they could look it up. It would give them the definitions if they were working on their math assignment, perhaps. So that will look up any word for them in the dictionary. Text-to-speech then will read to students and I'll turn it to the default voice so students can have the computer read the directions. So we can just highlight the directions. Read each statement. If you agree with the, the statement, computer will select read it square. To us. There are no wrong answers. We can change the voice. There's different voices in here. There's many, many voices actually, um, even out of Google Translate. And they will change the speed at which they read if I want to slow it down so it reads to me a little slower. And I can loop it so it will read those directions I highlighted over and over and over again until I feel like I've heard it enough times. The markup text then is how I did quite a few of the marks and highlights that you see here. So for marking up a text, perhaps we want to highlight and we want to do that highlighter, oh, in a different color like purple. So we can just pick our colors and we can come down here and we can start highlighting. And maybe this is too much highlighter now, so I want to erase. I can come down to the eraser and I can say, oh, I don't want these highlighted. After all, I want to erase those. Also in markup then, I can do a box highlighter, which is how I did those boxes we saw earlier. And maybe I want the boxes to be red now, so that I can fill in my form here with the different choices that I want to select. And again, I can change the size of those if I just click on this box right here. Oh, got to come back to my select. Now I can click on the box, I can drag it, I can make it a bigger box. Um, again, or I could say, nope, none of those were correct. I want to get rid of all of those and select annotate and delete. So the markup box feature allows me to work with the different boxes there. Strike through. I can highlight a sentence perhaps and delete it from my writing. Maybe I didn't like how I wrote that, but I wasn't ready to throw it away just yet until I rewrote the sentence. Or maybe I'm underlining maybe um, in a paragraph. I read something that really interests me and I want to underline that for later. And again, I could change the color of my underline. I could come click on my underline and change the color of that exact underline right here by clicking on it. I could copy it and I could also comment. So maybe I want to write myself a note, research more on this. 
And comment then, of course, is to make a comment box like I just did. So perhaps something does not have an underline, but we want to comment on it. I can highlight it and that will allow, allow me to comment on that item. Whoop, there we go. Okay, um, so that's comment. I can make a comment with text. I can make a comment with my voice so I can highlight text and record um, something back onto the document for later. I can even make a video comment if I'm on a device with a camera. And finally, I can do a screen capture and I can change the color of any of my comments over here. I can make a text box, which is going to be super handy if I have a question like this to answer. And once I click down and make that text box, I can change the font and do all different kinds of things with it um, to make it my own. And so maybe I'm gonna say answer number one only today to students. And I'm gonna put that right up here at the top so students know I only want them to answer number one today when I distribute this form and it's already annotated with my teacher notes. I can do mathematical equations. So if I highlight equation, all I need to do is open a box there and then I can drop any equation into it. Maybe I want that to be larger, so I'm gonna do it again right there, larger, great. And I wanna get rid of this one, so I click my eraser, get rid of the little tiny one. So all different kinds of mathematical equations and things I can use in here, even music notes. Um, drawing, of course, is drawing. So I can pick something and I can draw, I can write letters, maybe I'm drawing a triangle in a math class, and I can adjust how thick it is too, so I can make it much smaller and lighter. And then in shapes, uh, perhaps I need a more exact triangle in my math class. It's even giving me the degree measurements as I draw it, so I can stop. Maybe I want those measurements exactly right there. And now I know I have exactly the triangle that I needed. Um, I can insert a line, so perhaps I want to bisect an angle, and it's telling me exactly where I'm at. So as long as I knew what my angle measurement was that I wanted, maybe I didn't want to bisect, maybe I wanted it down here um, at 11, let's say, not right on it, but so I can draw lines and do different things there with my math. Again, I can erase anything that I make here, so that's really easy, and I can just kind of drag over old stuff and erase it. Finally, I can insert an image um, from the computer, from Google Drive, from a Google search, or stickers as well, so that's easy enough. And signatures. I already have a signature made, um, but students could draw a signature right here, or teachers for the first time. You can also do it on your phone if you're working from a phone, so that's great if you don't have as much access. And once I have it inserted, I can drop it wherever I want it to sign. So those are your Kami resources. Uh, finally, this one I uploaded from Schoology um, directly. So if you are uploading to Kami from a specific uh, teaching engine like Schoology or Google Classroom or something, when your students click turn in, they can actually turn it in directly from this app without going back and doing any kind of uploading or downloading. Uh, makes it super easy, but it also gives us all of these save choices so we can save our work and come back to it later until we're ready to turn our assignment in. So if you found this video helpful, uh, please like and comment and subscribe to my page. Thank you so much.